Right, so yeah, um, we, we implemented here a, uh, a simple logic right, where we are uh, navigating to the, a profile page uh, based on a simple logic here implemented in the login component, you know, if the username and password were correct. Uh, and I said, meant, uh, I said that ideally this would go out to some server uh, to fetch the, and pass in these, these credentials, it will come back and whatnot. But for that to happen, uh, we, we would have perhaps some data model that represents users. Users have usernames and passwords and whatnot, yes? Uh, and, and the communication between controllers and that data model, right, that's perhaps some, some remote data model, the, the appropriate thing to do is to, is to go through a service, right? In this case, it would be a user service. You know, somewhat what we uh, did in, uh, in React, yes? Um, basically, we, we, uh, there might be several components that are sharing the same information, right? For instance, the login, the register, and the profile page all deal with users, yeah? Registers try to create new users, login try to identify whether this user is a valid user, a profile uh, tries to retrieve a particular user and display their information, so they're all dealing with users, yes? Uh, so. Uh, they're, they're all sharing this data, this, this data structure, right? Uh, so the ideal thing to do here is that there would be one single place where this data is uh, represented, right? Uh, or gives you some access to some remote access to the data, and that is services, right? Now services in, in React, you know, we implemented them using, you know, static, uh, um, static classes and, uh, and uh, where we tried to create singletons. Uh, and it was our choice to do that, right? React didn't impose us to do anything like that, right? It wasn't a React choice. It was just us following a particular design pattern. In Angular, you're forced to do that, right? It says this is the only way that you can do this, right? You can, you, you, it, gives you the, uh, it gives you the abstractions of services, uh, of, uh, of using the factor design pattern for instantiating these things and then injecting them wherever you need them, okay? Uh, so let's do that. Let's, uh, let's, let's, um, let's introduce the notion of services, right? Um, and so we'll, we'll create a, um, a new class, a, a new uh, Angular class inside of a services directory. So let's, uh, let's go in and, and create a, under app, we'll create a, a services directory. And on the services, we'll create our first service. I'll call it user service client. So we'll say new uh, TypeScript. Okay. Uh, my naming convention is that uh, uh, notice that it says uh, the the user is the is kind of the feature. Right, we uh, the the main idea, the main concept, and then followed by the the role of this file. The role of this file is to be a service, meaning it provides data to other folks. Right, uh, it's a single place of accessing data. Uh, also, this is uh, running on the client side. Right, and it's it's written in TypeScript. Um, all right, so let's start that. Uh, we'll. Um, it's just a basic uh, user service. It's just a class, a normal class. But this class, we want it to be accessible to other folks as a singleton, right? A singleton instance, right? Which in, in React, what we did is that we, we made the constructor uh, private. You know, we did uh, get an instance and things like that, right? Here, the way we do that is that we decorate it with an injectable, right? We decorate it as an injectable, meaning so this, this is going to be a single instance that can be injected into anybody who asks for it in the constructor. You know, just like we did the router in the login, you know, just like in the login component, right, we asked for this router and it was injected to us through the constructor. Now we're going to create our own injectable. You know, so other folks who want an instance of this service, they can ask for it in the constructor. Okay? And they'll get the same instance always. Everybody's going to get the same instance. All right? Um, all right, so there's our service. Uh, it's not doing much yet. 
All right, so we're going to leave it alone for a second. Okay. Uh, before we start typing stuff in there, uh, we need to register this service with the with the infrastructure. It says and says this is going to be a service provider. It's going to provide data for everyone else. Register it as such. All right. So to do that, uh, we need to go back to the app modules, and here is our provider. See that providers? Right. Here's where we're going to declare our new service provider, right? Which is our what was it user service? There it is. Okay, and, and it uh, imported it. There it is. Okay. Or now it's registered. Now now it can be injected. Anybody who wants who wants access to it, we can we can use it. All right. So what could we put in here? What could we put in here? Well, we could put in here things that have to do with with users, like finding users, right? Finding their credentials, finding a list of all the users, deleting a user, creating a user. All the CRUD operations about users would live in this service provider, right? In this user service, okay? Uh, things such as uh, things, things such as you know, find a user by their credential. That'd be cool, right? So let's let's create a hard-coded list of users in our service, in our user service, right? Some hard-coded array. Uh, so here, let's declare users, and we have a a a list of, of users, Alice and Bob, right? And, and then we can have uh, things such as find user by ID or by credentials. Let's copy that. Uh, this uh, find, oops, copy. Uh, we can paste that in there. And this is just going to take two arguments, a username and password as strings, right? So we're, we're strongly typing. It's just going to iterate over the loop, right? If it finds it, right, it's going to return the user. Um, otherwise, it will turn null. Right, so, um, so return null. Okay. All right. All right. So, so this is something that perhaps the the login component could use, right? The login component instead of having this, instead of having the logic here in the login component. Uh, ideally, it would use the this new service that we just created, call the user uh, private uh, user service of type user service. Okay. Uh, now we've injected our brand new user service. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a, it's a best practice to declare all variables private. Yeah, yeah. It, yes, it's part of the only accessible through that that component. That com con yeah. The controller only here. Yep. And now that we have the service, we can replace this if statement uh, with with this uh, with this service, right? We can say instead we can say you know this dot user service, find user by credentials, we can pass the username, you know, we can pass the password, right? and this comes back with a user, and we can check to see if the user is null, then I didn't find the user. If I found a user, then yes, that user exists, and I can, I can let you in. Right, so now I can say something like, you know, if, you know, if, the, user, if the user is not null, then I'll navigate. Otherwise, you're staying here. Okay. Um, uh, so if you, know, if you try this out, right, we could go to login. So presumably, if I log in, this didn't work. But if I say Alice and Alice, it goes into the profile. Or if I say you know Bob and Bob, it goes to the profile. Yes, makes sense. Again, ideally, uh, this uh, service. It wouldn't be doing this locally here, right? It would be going out to the server to do all this, right? And we'll do that uh, a little later. Okay, everybody okay? You're still with me? All right, excellent. Uh, so yeah, the logging component can check to see if it's not null. Um, one, of, one of the things I would like to be able to do is, is perhaps maybe, you know, depending on who logged in, pass in an information about that user. Right, maybe the ID of the user, uh, and then the profile can then render 
this user or render some other user. Right? Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. You know, ideally, we would like to pass a parameter you know, across from, from the path and, uh, so that the other, other uh, component can then load the correct content. Right? So let's see how do we do that. 